All right, it's time to take off the clamps. All right. <clears throat> now, what? Uh, the only thing we do now, since this is so short, we cannot send it through the jointer or the planer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off uh, the length I want, and then from here, it's pure bench sanding and hand sanding. Okay, I got this shaped the way I want it to make it look. I got a got the little indentations around it. So from that point, we're going to go ahead and take all the pieces, which are three of them, and we're going to sand them down. I'm going to go with a 150, then a 220, 320, then a 400. Okay, now we're done with sanding them all with a 400. The next thing you want to do is to dampen them all, let them dry, and then sand them again with a 400. Okay, these have been dampened, dried, and finished off with a 400. These are done. Next step is I'm going to build the base. So what I want to do is probably a, a two-tier base for heaviness, uh, hold this up. So uh, I'm going to, probably the bottom base, I'm going to figure about seven. Then the one I'm going to stack on top, maybe five. So it's around 13 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and do about 14 inches on here. Cross cut it. Then I'm going to take it over. I'm going to send it through the planer on both sides to make sure it's nice and square. Then I'm going to joint one side. Then I'm going to send it through the table saw on this edge just to make sure that it's the same width all the way down. Then I'll plane this other side. Okay, this is finished off. Now I'm going to design the base. Uh, I got about 14 inches. I'm thinking about 7 inches for the first tier and then probably, oh, let's say 6 inches for the second tier. I'm going to go ahead and still cross cut this because we've got this square now. I'm going to cross cut this, then I go around 7, then I go around 6. So let's uh, cross cut those. Okay, now that we've got these ready to go, if you notice, I'm uh, going to kind of stack them like that for the base. I'm thinking um, from here I'm going to have to build <clears throat> the side pieces that come up to hold this so it tilts. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll make that next. Came up with a little different design. I decided to go black walnut on uh, on this uh, what's going to hold up this part here so it'll be on both sides of it and what I'm going to probably do is put a little design in this so uh, so it gives a little design and then the shade it'll be built yeah, I'm not sure if the design's good on this it's just scrap wood but I'm going to make it out of black walnut too so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cross cut this to probably about five inches make two five inch pieces and then I'm going to put a design in it, along with uh, maybe uh, a design in both pieces here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet, but uh, let's get this cross-cutted. Okay, this is the design I came up with. Um, <clears throat> I shaped these uh, on the drill press with a 80-grit uh, uh, drum on it. Just the outside only. I didn't do the inside of either one. Okay, then um, I just took a router with a round edge on this, around the whole thing, and then this, I put a design in with a router and I stopped right here, so when you put these together, this is what you come up with. Um, and here's kind of how it's going to look when we get it going like, like so. Now, um, you notice there's a lot of scratches. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the scratches in here. But those got to be removed along with these scratches here on the end. There's a lot of scratches in here, so I'm going to take it over my bench sander with a 220. And I'm going to sit there and polish these up with a 220 on the bench sander. Then I'm going to go with a 320. Then I'll go with a 400 spindle on my drill press and polish them up. This is done now. i got to design the way I think I like it and it's been sanded with a 400. Okay, I also got these two done. Sanded with a 400. Uh, next step. I was looking at this 
and I have a kind of a fancy design around here and then just a round design here. So I'm going to change this. I decided to go black walnut on the bottom piece. So what I'm going to do is um, go like so. And I made this a little longer and I put the same design here as I did here. Same cuts and everything. Next step. To get uh, this where I'm going to have to drill a hole in here, put a bolt and a, um, a well it's not a nut but it, it's a bolt and a handle to loosen and tighten this. So I'm going to have to go on the drill press, find out where the hole has to be. It's going to go all the way through and then from there we can tighten and loosen. But I need it to move so like this. Then I'm going to have to put some pe a peg in here that locks it in different positions. So I'll show you that later as we go for the peg. Okay, let's take this over the drill press and get this hold on. Now you want a sharp bit when you're drilling this. I want to get this piece here screwed down to the base. So to line this hole up with this, first thing I want to do is I got this already set up. So I push on this side with it. Then I go over here. Okay, perfect. Now I know this is in the middle of this. Flip this over, then go over here and make sure that it's touching here too. All right, then I gave a little space back there. You see that little bit of space. I wanted to go in a little bit on that. Now I know this piece is right on the money, so I'm gonna hold it down. I put this in here because I need that space. So from here I'm gonna draw a line all the way around this so I know where to put it so I can go ahead and put the screws in it. So go ahead and mark around the whole thing to get it really close. Holding down on it real firm. You don't want it to move. We can sand the pencil marks off later. Okay, now I know where to put my holes for the screws to strap this down. This is perfect. This way is good. And it's right in the middle when I get both of these done. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, put holes in here so we can strap this down. Now I drilled the, the two holes through here. It's the same bit that I drilled these holes with. Next step is to go put a, like probably a half inch um, drill bit on the drill press and I'm going to countersink these two holes next on the bottom. Notice this is the bottom and I'm going to countersink it. I now countersunk with a half inch bit and went in just a little bit you know, probably uh, enough. I don't want these screw heads here to bolt, you know, past this. So, and then now you want to check how long of screw you're going to need. Now, I already did this. This is the number six wood screw by an inch long. So you set it up next to it where you're going to have it. See that? It's not going to come through. You don't need a super long screw. Just enough to hold it down. So when the glue dries, this will be one solid piece on here. So next step, we're going to go ahead and uh, put some countersink holes in here because this is the hard wood. I don't want to split it. So I'm going to countersink the screws next into this. Okay, I got the other screw in it. Now this is solid. It's really nice and solid, but we're not going to glue this yet because we've got to get the other side lined up. So what you want to do is the same to this side as you did to this. So Get it lined up with your piece in the middle. From that point, we're going to uh, drill in last. So get it lined up, do the same thing, and then we'll go from there. Okay, it's now complete. Uh, you notice we've got it sunk in there, so this will go on there, and the screws here will not hit this. All right. Now this is loose. If you notice, that's loose, and it still holds pretty good. So you barely snug it down, and then we really got ourselves a good tight fit. And next step is you want to go ahead and sand everything down with a uh, 400 and get it all looking good. We're not, these are not glued on yet. They're just screwed on. We'll do the gluing a little later, but let's get all sanded down. Okay, I got the base already glued on. Okay, then it's strapped down and I wiped all the glue out of there. Uh, now the next step is to go ahead with a small bit and drill through here because you want this part to screw in. Now, if a little bit of the screw shows, you're still okay. The cord will still go through it. So kind of go off to the side a little bit, but uh, you'll be fine there. So do that one. Do this same way. This is a smaller 
a bit. This is large, no saw it's free here. This is screws in, this is free. So when you tighten it down, this doesn't move. Okay, so we'll get all that done. Then the next step would be to um, strap the base to here. I'm not going to glue this right now because uh, once I get this all extended out, if it falls over, I'm going to have to make this base longer or just or something. I'm not sure yet if there yet, but go ahead and get all that done. And then um, we're going to do the shade next. Okay, I have a little uh, flaws design. I noticed when I tighten this down, I don't want to tighten it tight, but I, I have to tighten it real tight because it doesn't stay because of the 400. Saying if this is 400 and this, it's so smooth it won't stay. Uh, same with this, this is even worse because of the weight out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of cherry wood in here, about three quarter inches high. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, add a piece of cherry wood on this piece here, about three quarter inches high. Now the purpose of that is I'm going to put a pin through it so these can be locked in different positions. Everything's been gone over with a 220. I've uh, got it all done here. Everything's shaped. Now I'm going to take a 220 on the hand and I'm going to actually hand sand all this on a 220. Then I'm going to go to a 400 and hand sand the whole thing. Yeah, I put this back in the carriage here. Now, what I did is I drilled a hole on the drill press uh, through just so much into this piece so this goes in but stops so you can grab it. Now you notice uh, you can have this loose at this end. Now this doesn't move. So when you just snug this down, you got yourself a really good base. And I, I got two points on it. I got that point and roughly somewhere in here. And if you, as you move it, you know, you find the hole, there it is. Then you just snug this down. Now you got a two position here. Now this will keep this from moving. You barely have to tighten this at all. And this stays really good. So take it on your drill press, find the right size drill bit that's just a little bit bigger than this so it slides in and out easy enough. Okay, you do that, then the second step is we're going to do the other pieces the same way as this. Okay, it's now put together. I got a two position here, two position here, and this is a three position. So it can adjust in three different positions. Now I cut out a template of what my shade is going to look like. I put this on, of course. Then when you get the shade up here like so, you want to make sure it hides this and the light bulb. So might have to have it a little longer, I'm not sure, but I think it's going to work pretty good. I don't want the light bulb to protrude out of, you know, show out of here. So the um, Got some black walnut, took it down about a quarter inch on uh, the planer. This will be the top of this. And then I got the bigger piece here. This will be four pieces, which will be four of these, which will go around all four sides. Next step is to take it over the table saw and cut out the different sizes I need to make this shade. Okay, I laid the lamp down sideways and put it in the shade. Then I'm looking at the size. And I'm thinking maybe the shade's a little too big um, when it comes to this way. The length is fine because of the bulb in it. But I think I'm going to take out another half inch on all four pieces. Okay, just set it up temporarily. Okay, I took off half inch on all four pieces. It looks better to me. It's a little smaller. Uh, now I'm going to run the edges through the joiner, not the ends, not the ends, but just all the edges so I get a good glue like right in here. You want that edge at 90 degree along with this, and so when I glue it to this, it's going to glue real good. It's been 24 hours, so it's time to take the clamps off. Now remember, I barely clamped this. I mean, if you can squeeze it with your fingers, about like so, that's about all the pressure you need. So you barely clamp them. Okay, next step. Looking pretty good there. Next step, I'm gonna take it over to the bench sander, and I'm gonna put an 80 grit, and I'm gonna go ahead and sand all four sides. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sand it and thin this down a little bit. A little too thick for my taste so far, so we're gonna go ahead and sand this. Okay, next step is I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this square and then I'm going to put a little angle on it so when I slide it in here it's going to wedge into here. 
Okay, before you glue this inside, first thing I did was I took and did a 400 and got this smooth because once you put it inside there, you won't be able to sand it. So get this to a 400. Your second step is go inside here and sand it and get it down to a 400, get it nice and smooth to 400. From that point, then we're gonna glue this in. I took my uh, plastic miter box, I strapped it to the table, and I used a hacksaw because of the fine teeth. Uh, if you see, I got four little strips here. They were, uh, the hacksaw works great for cutting those. Now those strips are gonna go inside the lamp shade. Let me show you what, um, what I got planned is for strength. There's a, couple, there's a couple reasons why I'm doing this. Okay, one is um, when I, Made this design, here's one of this already designed. Okay, when I made it, it's gonna go in like so and I'm gonna glue it in there. Now that's gonna give these corners extra strength and two, it's gonna hold this piece up in there even better. Cause we're gonna, I'm gonna glue it anyway, but I want to make sure that when it's put up in here like so, So it can't come out, it can't come out, but when I put this in there, it's going to be butted up on these four corners, so it's going to give this a lot of extra strength. This has been now glued in, and uh, what I did is I let it sit for about 10 minutes, then I took it over the bench sander and sanded it with the grain for a little bit just to make it smoother before it totally dries. Now, uh, the next step is once this sits overnight, it's time to put these in. And uh, of course that gives it more strength. I, I got them four cut out, so then I'm gonna glue them, but I'm gonna wait till this totally sets up. Now that these braces in here are dry, I took the shade and I put it up to here, just temporarily uh, put it on, and then I extended this out. And what's going on is this base is not big enough, so it's falling forward. So what I did is I, uh, made a new base. Of course, I ripped down uh, the cherry to about the same width as this. And then I added some black walnut to the end. Now, I made it about an inch for the purpose. Uh, if the thinner this is, it'll bend easier, so I don't have to use as many clamps. So, plus I can take off black walnut, make this smaller if I want to kind of give it that design that I like. So this is dried already. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this apart here. Okay, from here I'm gonna take this over to a planer and I'm gonna plane it down and go ahead and cut it off and then uh, see how far I can keep cutting it down till this does not fall anymore. I got the base done and so what I did is I temporarily put this together, including the light bulb and everything to see this as far as it's gonna extend out. I wanted to see uh, how long I needed this base so it wouldn't tip over. And here's the right length. So I already cut it off. And I put it on here real fast and then put it up and see if it held and it did. Uh, so from this point, I'm gonna go over to the sander, the bench sander, and we're gonna sand this down. Okay, I got the base figured out. What I did was I uh, put a magnet in the bottom of the base. So when it's like this, you won't see it, but I'm gonna put felt on here anyway. So, but here's what the magnet looked like. Uh, I bought it at the hardware store, I drilled this out, took this off, and then uh, if you notice I put some number four by half inch wood screws in here, plus I put glue underneath it and I screwed it down to that. Now I use this router, this bit, to route this out to, now it's just a couple three thousandths lower than the wood itself. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the router and round off the edge of the platform like this one is here, so we're going to do that next. All right, at that point we're going to go ahead and sand this, get it down to a 400. We're getting near the stage of completion. Um, I did change this, this did adjust three times, but the third one I, I wasn't going to work, so I put a uh, plug in it and glued it. So this is uh, just twice, this will be twice, and so is this one. Now, the pegs. I take a 400, 
and just sand the round part of the peg itself of the 400. Do not sand this at all. Just sand each of the pegs of the 400. From there, we're going to soak the whole thing in a black walnut stain. And I'm going to leave them there for probably about 30 minutes to an hour. I want it to really suck in the, the walnut stain so it turns it dark so it'll match the walnut itself here. They've been sitting in the walnut stain for about an hour, so I'm going to take them out. Set them on some newspaper and uh, gonna let them dry overnight. Okay, this is ready to put tongue oil on the whole thing. So what I did here, though, I did put a hole in here to fit the Phillips screwdriver. The purpose of that is so when I put this in underneath and screw it on, I can tighten down inside here. I can tighten down this Phillips screw so this doesn't turn. Now all this is dry, so what I'm going to do is take um, all the different joints apart. I'm going to tongue oil the entire thing, except under right here and under here, because I want the glue uh, to stick there. So I'm not going to tongue oil that. So let's get this all done uh, for the tongue oil. Okay, I took it apart. I put tongue oil on everything. So I'm gonna let it sit for about seven, eight hours at about 70 degrees. From there, I'm gonna sandpaper with a 400 and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second coat of tongue oil. Next step is uh, take a 400 and you just lightly sand it till you feel it come smooth. You'll feel it with your fingertips. Okay, just kind of lightly sand it till you get it real smooth. You want to do the whole thing. From there, we're going to put another coat of uh, tongue oil on it. base is glued to this base and these two uh, arms here are glued to this okay now everything's screwed together now what I did is I drilled a three-tier system in each one of these holes to hold a uh, pen or a pencil so the first one was the size of right in here I drilled it down about ooh, half inch then I took another size bit which is about this about the size of here drilled it down another quarter inch then I took the end of this and that's about the size of the end of this, drill the third one all the way down almost to the, the bottom. So now that it, had, it tapers, so if you put a pin in it, it stays real good or a pencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and install a kill switch right in here somewhere so we can turn this off and on from the table itself. Okay, I got the on and off switch uh, put on there. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and fill these holes with some tongue oil, let them sit for about 45 minutes, and then I'll 
drain the excess off. Uh, I'm going to go to the store and buy a piece of felt. It usually comes in one foot by one foot and it's self uh, stick them. But I am going to put glue on the bottom of this anyway, then glue the felt to that. And once I'm done with the felt, the lamp is totally done and uh, it's ready to go. Now that we got it cut out, I'm going to peel off the back and I'm going to put uh, some glue on the bottom of this. Uh, because uh, like I said, self stick them doesn't hold as good. So I'm going to put glue on and then put this on the bottom of it. And there you go. You got it. The lamp is now complete. I appreciate everybody watching and um, until next time on The Random Woodworker. Thanks.